Well, it was a message of peace, peace and more peace. It was within the frame, obviously, of what's happening regionally, but certainly put into a global context to it, with the Pope saying that Christians are a community of peacemakers. And he urged people worldwide, brothers and sisters, to not uh, be divided by disagreements. He said that faith and love had to be the weapons of peace. So that was the overriding message. And people now behind me are emptying out, going back to the, the corners of the seven emirates uh, from whence they came and entered this day at around 5 a.m. this morning on some 400 school buses that brought them here and obviously the school children will go back to school tomorrow. It was a very charged and emotional mass. Uh, lots of people meditative, uh, in prayer, contemplative of, of an event they probably thought they'd never see in this region. And the demographic was very mixed, uh, Filipinos, uh, Europeans, South Asians. And as for the Pope now, well, as his congregation leaves, so too will he. And he'll head on board Shepherd One, as is his airplane called. And he'll touch down in Rome at around 5 p.m. at Rome time this evening. It's been such an historic trip, and not least because of some of the announcements that came out last night. Uh, there will be a church and a new mosque built here. Uh, this was an announcement made in conjunction with Grand Imam al Taya, a very close friend, a brother, a brother in arms, someone that the Pope embraces every time he sees him, he meets with him all the time, two, three times a year. And the two of them sat down to sign a really important agreement. It's called the Human Fraternity Document, and it called for peace in the Arab world. It called for more tolerance uh, and the, the safekeeping of Christians in the United Arab Emirates and beyond, and a rejection of fanaticism and uh, extremism. This is really important because it opens up the discussion for uh, more tolerance in the Middle East, and certainly there could be discussion of, in more conservative states, might non-Muslims be able to practice their faith more freely? Might we even see a papal visit to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia or to Kuwait? It's such a difference from the papal relationship that we've seen with Emmans when you compare it to somebody like Pope Benedict. So on every level, on every scale, a historic event that we witness here today and uh, a lot of people going away doing Mexican waves, flying their flags for the Pope and uh, returning with many happy memories. We may never see its like again.